I would explain to you today the difference between mathematics and statistics, the way I have understood it. A major difference between mathematics and statistics is in the approach of their reasonings. Our reasonings are generally of two types. First, deductive and second, inductive. Let me first explain to you the difference between these two types of reasoning. Using deductive reasoning, we start from a set of general premises and draw some specific conclusions. It works from general to specific. Its argument is that if something is true of a general class, then it is true of the members of that class also. Using inductive reasoning, we start from a specific observations to make a general conclusion. Induction starts with a set of premises based mainly on our experience or some experimental evidences. Let me give an example which may make the difference between the two clear. Let us start with the fact that all birds lay eggs. This is a statement regarding the whole population of birds. Now, since chicken is a bird, we can infer that it also lay eggs. This is the detective approach. Here our inference is based on detective reasoning. Now, let us take it the other way. Suppose we observe some birds and we find that each of them lays eggs. And on this basis, we infer that all birds lay eggs. This is inductive approach. Here our inference is based on inductive reasoning. Let me give another example. Suppose that it is told that all cows have four legs. And we take it true for the whole population of cows. Now, if someone says that here is a cow, then without looking at it, we can infer that it must have four legs. This inference is based on deductive reasoning. On the contrary of this, suppose we observe only a few cows and notice that each of them has four legs. Now, if on this basis we think that it means that all cows have four legs, then our this inference is based on inductive reasoning. Mathematics is deductive in nature, whereas statistics is inductive. Mathematics follows a top-down approach, that is, it comes from top to down, from larger group to a smaller group. 
statistics follows a down top approach that is it goes from down to top from a smaller group to the larger group mathematics comes down from population to sample and statistics goes up from sample to population it draws inferences about the totality on the basis of a few observations for example in mathematics it is said that every equation of the first degree in two variables represents a straight line this is a statement which is true of whole of the infinite population of equations of the first degree now since any linear equation as 3x plus 2y equal to 5 as it is an equation of the first degree one can easily deduce that it represents a straight line in mathematics it has been shown that the sum of all three angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees so for a given particular triangle we can deduce without going into any investigation that the sum of all the three angles of the given triangle must be 180 degree here we come from general to particular but in statistics we go from particular to general In statistics, on the basis of measurements on height of a few adult male Indians, it can be inferred about the average height of the whole population of adult male Indians. Here we are generalizing our result on the basis of our study on a particular subgroup. Though statistics is basically an applied science, it differs from even applied mathematics. A statistics is mathematics which is applied to real life problems. But the focus of each of applied mathematics and statistics as a subject is different. The main focus of applied mathematics is on learning, understanding, deriving and applying mathematical models to uncover the nature of phenomena through prediction. A statistics on the other hand does the same but through models based on real life data. Mathematics involves complex systems and is considered more rigorous than statistics. Mathematics is rigid with predetermined structures with no scope of any change. Statistics is indefinite in its function as it deals with real life dynamic data. It modifies its variables and measurement tools according to a given a specific problem. Mathematics deals with abstract concepts 
which may be metaphysical in nature. Whereas statistics depends upon the context of physical data. What is more surprising about mathematics is that in mathematics taking any set of premises a proposition can be proved even if either the axioms or the derived propositions have any relation to reality. Perhaps due to this reason, once the great philosopher turned mathematician, Bertrand Russell, has remarked, mathematics is a subject in which we do not know what we are talking about, nor cares whether what we say is true. In a statistics, we take sample observations from the real world and then conclusions are drawn on their basis. It is true that different samples may lead to different, may even contradictory results. But uh, what is important here is that the sample observations, the basis of drawing conclusions are always real, whereas in mathematics it cannot be asserted that the axioms on basis of which propositions are proved are always true. This is a vital point of difference between mathematics and statistics. As different samples from the same population may give different results to arrive at a conclusion, with a high degree of success. Some skill, experience and intuition are required. The study of statistics thus needs more wisdom and intelligence in this respect. People are generally critic of statistics that it is not exact. It may not give real results. But in my opinion, statistics is more real than mathematics in the sense that it is not known that how far the axioms are true which are used in mathematics on the basis of which mathematical results are derived. But the samples on the basis of which results are obtained in statistics are always true. Thank you.